Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Gaston the Ginger, and today we're going to be taking a break from politics and just taking the time to learn, to focus on improving ourselves. If you're watching this, you're probably a bigot, like me. And there are a lot of things that we need to learn. For example, did you know that anorexia is rooted in fat phobia, which is itself rooted in white supremacy? Did you know that lesbians today have boyfriends? It's new to me. Well, my friends, before we get started with our education, how about some brief words from the last competent person to live in the White House? You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Everything woke. Everything woke. It's true. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? It's true. It's true. Look at what's happening. All right, I won't hide the ball. Let's begin with anorexia. You thought I was joking about anorexia being rooted in fat phobia? You thought I was CNNing you? You thought I was fake newsing you? No, 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 not here. So get your pencils and papers out and get ready to learn because it's about to get education up in here. What is it with people who are, have eating disorders and are thin to, that refuse to believe they are fat phobic because of their eating disorder? I've been in treatment for months and these bitches are like, no, I can't be fat phobic. It's my eating disorder's fault. Your eating disorder is fat phobic. No one said it was your fault, but it's still fat phobic. Clearly, I'm not home, and therefore Judge Ginger won't be joining us. But I have a feeling he would send her to the gulag. Now, since we're on the topic of anorexia, I thought this next video would be appropriate. Pens and papers. Okay, let's have a moment of honesty because this is a safe corner, and I want to talk about something that never fails to get me, like really get me, and not like get me in a good way. <laughs> and the thing I'm talking about are freaking towels. So I've been on a journey to like redo my spaces that I live in, and that includes my bathroom. Who knew that finding a towel that was plus size friendly in a mainstream store would be like shopping for a needle in a haystack? So I've tried on towels, like literally tried towels on in stores, and have yet to find one that fits my body. Example A. Here I am in the wild trying on towels that are called oversized bath towels. And surprise, surprise, it didn't fit me. Are we shocked? I mean, with the way that fashion sizing is, I'm not. But it always gets to me because I'm human. And did I cry in Target? Yeah. But here's the thing. My embarrassment is now replaced by frustration and rage. Is it too much to ask for towels to fit plus size bodies? You're a towel. No, you're a towel. Well, you're a beaner towel. What did you say? I know what kind of towel she could buy and she would fit into no problem. I have one right here, actually. See? It's the towel that I use for my dogs at the beach and at the pool. I guarantee it'll fit her. Now, I think she needs to listen to Jordan Peterson and I know what she should get out of it. You see, when all the towel manufacturers in the world reject you, maybe just... Maybe it's not them that is the problem. Maybe it's you. We've been having fun, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So it's time to get a little disturbing. For the next video, along with your pencil and paper, make sure to bring your trash can, just in case. Enjoy. OD, let's talk gender flux. So gender flux can be seen as a form of gender fluid. Now, the difference is that where gender fluid means that um, your gender itself fl fluctuates, so like sometimes you feel like male or sometimes you feel like female. Gender flux means um, that the intensity of your gender identity fluctuates. So there may be times where uh, you fully identify with a gender and um, so let's say sometimes you fully uh, feel female. And then there are some times where you feel like, yeah, just only halfway, so you may feel like a demigirl. Or there are times where you don't feel like female at all and you feel like agender. So in the end, gender flux just describes a fluctuation in the intensity of your gender. You're a cow! Alright, look, 
If you learn anything from this video and from the last clip that we just watched, I really hope it's this. Gender flux is not the same as gender fluid. They are two completely different mental illnesses. I'm ready for all the hate comments, but if you're a cisgender person and you don't want to date a trans person just because of the fact that they're trans, you're transphobic, my friend. Who would leave that guy hate comments? Come on, even hate crimes are down, at least in, in England. And do you know why? Because the police were smart enough and brave enough to put rainbows on their cars. Seriously. And hey, yeah, that's just in England, but I have a feeling it's the sort of thing that will probably make its way over here too. Maybe starting with San Francisco? Probably. Who knows? I know. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share it, most importantly. Because if you, you know, have friends or loved ones, you want them to improve themselves, to learn, right? So share this video and, you know, like, make another account, like and subscribe again, you know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.